So there's been no shortage of absurd stories in post-Roe America that explains why abortion is necessary. But this story is perhaps one of the most absurd stories I've seen just because of the reasoning that we are going to see from forced birthers who are in very, very powerful positions. As Jessica Corbett of Common Dreams explains, reproductive rights advocates were outraged by a Florida appellate court's Monday decision upholding a trial judge's move to block a parentless 16-year-old from getting an abortion. A Scambia County Circuit Judge Jennifer J. Frijai Chowitz recently rejected the unidentified teen's request for permission to bypass the parental notice and consent requirements under Florida law. A three-judge panel from the state's first district court of appeal upheld that decision, which critics called barbaric, flabbergasting, outrageous, and unconscionable. Judges Harvey J. and Rachel Nordby, joined part by Judge Scott McCarr, affirmed the decision of the trial court, which they said found the teen had not established by clear and convincing evidence that she was sufficiently mature to decide whether to terminate her pregnancy. So let that sink in for a moment. Multiple adult judges are telling this teenager that she's not mature enough to get an abortion, but she's absolutely mature enough to raise a literal child. Make it make sense because it doesn't. And the story is so preposterous that it seems almost unreal, but it's absolutely real. And I want to show you the ruling for that fact, because it's so unbelievable. So Slate writer Mark Joseph Stern highlighted the portion of interest, which reads, Appellate had not established by clear and convincing evidence that she was sufficiently mature to decide whether to terminate her pregnancy. So you have one circuit court judge basically saying this, and then you have three appeals court judges confirming, yeah, we agree, she's just not mature enough to get this abortion. She hasn't sufficiently demonstrated that she is mature enough to do this. So you raise that baby. What the fuck is wrong with people in our legal system? These are judges. They had to go to law school. I mean, you have to at least demonstrate some level of competence to pass the bar exam and here they are saying no 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 this teenager has to give birth because she's just not mature enough to have an abortion it's genuinely idiotic and it gets worse because judge makar who's one of the three judges in this case praised the circuit court judge for the way that she handled this case with uh, compassion and concern those are the words that he used now, when you look at the actual details in this story, as described by the judges who denied this abortion, specifically Judge Marker in this particular instance, I mean, it makes it seem completely bizarre that they would deny this girl the abortion that she's requesting when she has good legal reasoning for said abortion. So, as Makar detailed, the minor is almost 17 years old and parentless. She lives with a relative but has an appointed guardian. She is pursuing a GED with involvement in a program designed to assist young women who have experienced trauma in their lives by providing educational support and counseling. The minor experienced renewed trauma of the death of a friend shortly before she decided to seek termination of her pregnancy. Her petition, a standard form that she completed by hand, stated two potential bases for a waiver under the statute. First, the minor states that she is sufficiently mature to make the decision, saying she is not ready to have a baby, she doesn't have a job, she is still in school, and the father is unable to assist her. Second, the minor states that her guardian is fine with what she wants to do, which would be a sufficient basis for a waiver of notice if other statutory requisites are met. But yet, multiple judges concluded, mm, sorry, you're just not mature enough for an abortion. Have that baby now. I don't even know what to say in response to this. These are the types of people who are making decisions about other individuals' bodies. In this instance, a teenager who is saying, look, I don't have parents, but my guardian is saying this is okay, okay? Can't have a baby right now, don't have a job, still in school. I can't. And they're saying, mm, too bad. You're just not mature enough for an abortion. What the fuck is wrong with this country? What the fuck is wrong with forced birthers? Their logic is so ass backwards. And even if I'm not necessarily surprised that multiple judges would come to this conclusion, you just expect at least some level of common sense from the people who are the arbiters of justice in American society, judges. But in this instance, two separate courts, the circuit judge and three appeals court judges said, nope, no abortion for you, teenager. Have that fucking baby. 
there are some stories where I'm just kind of speechless and don't really know how to respond, what type of commentary to offer. But, you know, this is definitely one of those stories because what do you even say to this? This is extremely stupid. If anything, these judges haven't sufficiently demonstrated that they are smart enough to be in that position of power. If you think that a teenager is not mature enough to have an abortion, but she's mature enough to have a baby, you're not smart enough to be on any court. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be interpreting the laws. You, you shouldn't be in that position. What the fuck are we doing? How are these people getting positions of power when they are that fucking dumb? I mean, I'm sorry. I don't need to know anything else about these judges. They're that fucking stupid if this is their rationale. I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to make heads, heads or tails of this. Now, for those of you unaware, the situation in Florida is that 15-week uh, abortions are banned. This was signed into law by Ron DeSantis back in April. So um, I'm not necessarily sure whether or not this teenager has passed the 15 week mark or if she's within the 15 week mark but she uh, or a point but she requires parental consent i'm not necessarily sure about the specifics but the the rationale here the legal rationale used by these judges is what i'm most concerned with and the fact that they came to this conclusion and multiple judges all came together and thought yeah this makes sense it just goes to show you this country is doomed if people like this continue to hold positions of power.